quick question um, before we talk more about securing for the future. Uh, we've got uh, Alexandra who's chimed in on LinkedIn. Uh, we appreciate uh, the feedback and the input. But her question is, why don't companies just use pass keys? There's so much to say. I was just wondering if anyone was going to ask about that. <laughs> There's so much to say. It, that's an entire show or two topic. <laughs> First of all, we are all in favor of standards. We are all in know all about the standards of behind pass keys. Been following it since the beginning. I was in some of the rooms when this stuff was was announced and developed. I completely understand it. Um, there are some good things about pass keys. There are some challenges about pass keys. Um, pass keys can now be shared. Uh, again, there's so many rabbit holes to go down. We're not going to go down. I'll just I'll just say the big points. Pass keys, pass keys can be shared. If you don't want to share your pass keys, it can become very a nightmare to manage. It can, you got to be careful that word nightmare. It can become difficult to manage. Um, so, and, and then sometimes the recommendation for what if you lose your pass key and there's recovery, the, the recommendation has been keep three or four pass keys around available. Again, there's so many different ways we can t discuss and debate what that all means. Um, so there are challenges. I'm in favor of it. It's going to get there. We're we're gonna we're probably going to be involved in it. Well, we are. We're we're part of the Fido Alliance. Um, we will be probably more intimately involved as that as that advances. We're watching it. But at the same time, we are, we have we have created a, a, a parallel technology at the roughly the same time frame, if not a month or two ahead. Um, back in the day, a while ago, and uh, what we offer is is extremely secure. I, I will say that. So pass keys. They're great. They can be great. They're very one. They're great for consumers. I use them as a kind of consumer use for enterprise. A bit more challenging to manage. A bit more challenging to manage for recovery. We we again going back to what I said. We want to create something very simple and more secure. So trying to balance that security and simplicity. That's what we've aimed for. And I think right now what we've got it it meets that. Yeah, I'll, I'll just add that I think and, and Chris touched on this. Passkeys are a huge step forward, uh, particularly for consumer use. Um, and I think that in that area, it, it's tremendously more secure. Um, Chris mentioned recovery can be difficult. In most cases, recovery defaults back to a password, which makes that still the weak link, even if you're using a passkey. We've built essentially a better passkey experience that is more enterprise grade and more focused on workforce identity. So I, I do want to make that clear that Tradewares uh, product today and deliverance today really helps uh, with workforce identity and uh, for those service providers that are looking to secure their service provider direct login uh, we have lots of conversations going on around OEM use uh, particularly for B2B enterprises if someone that wants to dive deeper on pass keys and, and where they're going or why Tradeware believes in what we're doing uh, slightly adjacent to passkeys. Happy to have that conversation offline, or as Chris mentioned, that's an entire another show or two.